as well. Take it off the stand so I can kind of move if that's okay with everyone. 
if you've looked around um, the gazebo, you can see names that go all the way around, and that's not even a fraction of a percentage uh, of all the names that we could have bit. put around this gazebo, because they're all victims who lost their life to police brutality. I'm going to share with you seven stories today, and my portion is called Say Their Names, so I want it to really stick in your head, these people. So I'm going to start each story by saying their name, and I'm going to say their first name, and I want you guys to chant back their last name as a little, a little chant, so we can really get these names to stick. So I'm first going to talk about Elijah McClain. So when I say Elijah, you guys say McClain, we'll do it like three times. Elijah. McClain. Elijah. McClain. Elijah. McClain. Exactly. So Elijah McClain was 24 years old when he was killed by police on August 24th, 2019. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Elijah, not because any of this um, should have kept, not if he didn't do any of this that he shouldn't have died any less, but just so you know that it doesn't really matter how sweet or how kind you are, you can always be a victim. So Elijah um, taught himself guitar and violin and he played for the stray kittens at the animal shelter because he was worried they would get lonely since no one had adopted them yet. Um, he was anemic and he loved music and that's why on the night of his death he was wearing a ski mask to keep himself warm and he was waving his arms, dancing along to the music he listened to. Uh, a call came in that a man with a mask was waving his arms sporadically, and so the police arrived. They wrestled him to the ground. They handcuffed him. They kept him in a carotid hold, which caused him to pass out at least two times and throw up onto himself and the cops. Medics arrived 15 minutes later and injected him with two times the amount of ketamine for a man his size. So I want it to really sink in how tragic this was and how brutal it was because the entire time while the cops were arresting him, were holding him down, Elijah spoke with nothing but love. So I'm going to read for you his last words during the arrest. I can't breathe. I have my ID right here. My name is Elijah McLean, and that's my house. I was just going home. I'm an introvert. I'm just different, that's all. I'm so sorry. I have no gun. I don't do that stuff. I don't do any fighting. Why are you attacking me? I don't even kill flies. I don't even eat meat. I don't judge people who do. I don't judge people who do eat meat. Forgive me. All I was trying to do was become better, and I will do it. I'll do anything. I'll sacrifice my identity. I'll do it. You are all phenomenal. You are all beautiful, and I love you. Try to forgive me. I'm a Gemini. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ow, that really hurts. You're so very strong. I guess teamwork makes the dream work. I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to do that. I just can't breathe. All of Elijah McLean's um, arresters and the medics that ingested him with the ketamine face no charges and are all still out on the police force today. The next story I'm going to tell you about is another recent one you may have heard. This is Brianna Taylor's story. So when I say Brianna, you say Taylor. Brianna? Taylor. Brianna? Taylor. Brianna? Taylor. Brianna Taylor was 26 years old on March 13th, 2020. She was an EMT. Now the police suspected that an ex-boyfriend of hers may have had packages delivered to her house that could have contained drugs. And so they got a no-knock warrant, which means that they were allowed to enter her house with no ID. Now, in the middle of the night, the police arrived at her house 